welcome back friends to this new video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can quickly set up linux mint for office use so after installing you will get this welcome to linux mint dialog box you can uncheck this one and go to the first steps and select your dark background and a accent color that will be applied to system wide for every icon that is shown here as you can see i have selected blue Next one you can select the panel layout which is the modern and traditional and then we'll go through this list one by one. First of all we need to create a backup of our system so we can click on this one and create our first backup system. We can choose daily, weekly and monthly backups. I will choose here one weekly and one monthly backup and click on next and click on include all files. And then click finish and then we need to click on this one to create our first system backup it will take some time and it will make sure that this backup remains safe whenever you find something that crashes your system you can go back to this store point and it will be just like newly installed from here you can restore it you can delete the old restore points and after that we can go to the driver manager for installing some updates if there is for any drivers of your hardware meantime I will change the desktop background Linux Mint comes with a great album of various types of desktop wallpapers artworks as well as pictures you can set your own pictures but I will choose one from here as you can see driver manager is saying it has already up-to-date drivers next we'll go to the update manager for general updates click on no click apply the update give the password and then click on ok it will search for the updates and install it one by one it will show the list of the updates that will be installed and then click on install updates it will show some of the requirements here click on ok it will automatically download all the updates for you and it is not like windows where it annoys you to install the updates when it appears you can choose a suitable time for the updates according to your work schedule and everything will be taken care from this update manager you can see the details here all the updates are installed and you can then reboot after updating next we have the firewall you just have to turn on this firewall so Linux Mint is already secure but turning on this firewall makes another security layer Next we can see the file manager here. The file system on Linux is little bit different from Windows. Everything you save will be saved in this home directory. Here there are different types of folders. You can create new folders here. The Linux main file system has the C drive. As you can see the file system will be shown here. It will be the root directory here. You don't save anything here. You just save in the home folder. You can create new folders on the desktop, empty document, etc. Just like Windows. Then we have different types of applications. You have the calculator, the zip archive manager. You have different types of modes. You can have the character map. As you can see, you have the PDF document viewer. You have the file renamer. Here you can rename bulk files. There are multiple files which you need to rename. Accordingly, you can rename it using this tool. This is a very helpful tool for bulk renaming different multiple files. Here, I, I am showing you to rename this file. So just type the file name, old file name and the new file name here. And click on rename. As you can see, the file has been renamed. So just like that, you have different other tools like image viewer, redshift for nighttime, reading, so that you get that yellowish tint on your screen that saves your eyes you have different graphics applications 
you have different types of web applications like Firefox and this is a great tool that is called web apps here you can create a shortcut of a web application just like this this is the web shortcut for YouTube you just type the address here and you can select an icon from here whichever you like and then categorize it under the applications menu it will be run using Firefox so you can see in the internet section YouTube has been saved as a shortcut so it is very helpful for saving different types of web application and directly opening it from your desktop next we have a op office application that is compatible with various platforms that is called LibreOffice it is just like Microsoft Office Suite where you have spreadsheets you have word presentations etc this is a very powerful tool just like Microsoft Office Suite but sometimes it can be somewhat different depending upon the formatting and it changes depending upon the platform you use then you can go to the calendar settings you can change the calendar uh, settings from here also you can go to the date and time in the system settings and you can change different preferences from here next we have languages you can set the language to be applied system wide for different applications here I have selected English India and you can select the language from the panel also next under system settings you have backgrounds which I have already shown you just click on the background picture and it will change you have effects for different various desktop effects you can turn on or off depending upon your choice Linux is highly customizable and you can customize each and every aspect of Linux but I will be not going too deep into this customizations I just want to show you how you can set up quickly Linux Mint for office use you can click the applets like trash and set it on the panel also on the desktop shortcuts you can uncheck and check which icons you want on the desktop next we have online accounts where you can set up your Google and Microsoft account so that you will get all the notifications on your desktop here you just need to sign up next you can customize the panel you can adjust the panel height the icon size everything you can tinker with the settings according to your liking next we can uninstall some of the programs just to right click on the program and click on uninstall keep the password authenticate and click on ok to uninstall all the dependencies for that package next we have the text editor just like notepad but it is much more powerful than notepad you can type text documents or write your coding here and save it in different folders can create new folders you can give the extension here and you can see I have saved it in the home folder and under the documents next we'll install some of our favorite applications like Chrome go to this website click on download and select the first option for Ubuntu and click accept after the package has downloaded just double click on it and click on install package give the password and it will install all the dependencies from the internet then we can go to the internet and click on Google Chrome and set up Google Chrome with our profile so here it is you can then go to different Google applications just like Google Sheet just need to sign in and here you have Google Sheets we can make a shortcut for this under the web applications 
just copy the link click on plus paste the address give a name let me give here google sheets then we can change the browser to chrome and you can select the category to office you can select the online icon for it then we'll go to the docs and select and copy the address give the name and similarly we'll go to the office 365 for microsoft suit if you have a microsoft account you can log in to that account and once it opens you can copy the link from here and you can create a web application for that as you can see we have different icons here and you can edit it once you have created you can delete it from here as you can see there is different icon for YouTube you get the idea so from here you can directly open now Microsoft Office and Google Sheets for office work so this is very helpful tool You just need internet connection for all these applications. It will not run without internet. Next, we'll see different applications we can install using the software manager. Let's install WhatsApp. Then we can go to these internet settings applications and you can click on WhatsApp and set up WhatsApp for desktop. Next, you can create shortcuts for the applications on your desktop just like this. Right click and click on add to desktop or add to panel. For adding to the panel and to remove this, just click on unpin from the panel. You can uninstall Firefox because it is much slower and it is buggy. So, I hope you like this video series in which I have shown you how to install Linux Mint and to set up Linux Mint for office use. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.